pointers are important to understand because we're going to use them in, I think, all of the data structures that we're going to build in this course. If you already understand pointers, you can go ahead and skip this section. To explain pointers, I'm going to start by explaining something that does not use pointers. So I'm going to have a variable. We're going to let num1 equal 5. And then we're going to have another variable where we let num2 equal num1. So let's take a look at this in DevTools. So here's that code here. And I'm going to run this. And then I'm just going to clear off this undefined here and show that if we do num1, that equals 5. Num2 also equals 5. But if we say that num1 equals 10, now when we look at num1, num1 is equal to 10, but num2 is still equal to 5. That's what happens when we're not using a pointer. Let's go back over here. So when we set num2 to be equal to num1, this isn't permanent. This is just making num2 equal to 5 at the time that we declare the variable. But if we later change num1, it doesn't change num2. That's what happens when we're not using a pointer. Now let's compare this to when we are using a pointer. I'm going to say let object1 equal this value. When you set a variable equal to an object, you are saying object1 points to this object. It is a pointer. And then when we say let object2 be equal to object1, it might look as though what we're doing is we're saying, hey, let's set object2 equal to another object with the same value. But that is not what we're doing here. When you set object 2 equal to object 1, you are literally saying, make object 2 point to the exact same object in memory as object 1. So let's look at this in DevTools. And we will run this. And if we say object 1, that equals that object with the value of 11, same with object 2. But if we were to change object 1 dot value, and make it equal to 22. Now when we look at object 1, obviously that's going to have the object with a value of 22, but the same is true for object 2. Both of them are now equal to the value of 22. Okay, so let's go back over here. Now we've changed this value to 22, and object 1 and object 2 are both pointing to that same object. That's why they both come up as 22. That's a big difference in how pointers work versus what we saw before when we just used numbers. So now I'm going to bring up another object here because there's a couple of other points that I want to make. When we say let object 3 equal this object, we're saying let object 3 point to this object. So now we could say something like object 2 equals object 3. Now these pointers can be moved to a different place. So if we do this, object 2 is going to point to this as well. And then I want to make one more point here by just having object 1 point down to that other object as well, like this. Now all three are pointing down here, but we don't have anything that is pointing to this object. If you have an object that nothing is pointing to, you have no way of accessing this because you can only access this through a variable. So this is just taking up space in memory and it can't be used. So periodically what JavaScript is going to do is it's going to clean up things like this through a process called garbage collection and it will remove that. And that wraps up our section on pointers.